This video shows you how to use the Elite Software PsychChart program. We have just opened the PsychChart program, so it has an untitled project open that has not been saved yet. As with other Elite Software programs, it's important to save your project before doing anything else in order to recover your work if your computer crashes. Click the Save button. Give the project a file name and click the Save button. The chart is set to the standard C level chart with the default range. Click the Chart Properties button so we can set the elevation. Under Elevation or Pressure, select the Elevation option. Enter 308 feet. Click OK to apply your changes and close this window. The chart is now at an elevation of 308 feet. Let's edit this note to include the elevation as a dynamic note item. Click the note to bring up the pop-up menu. Click Edit to edit the note. Type Elevation equals first. This floating toolbar window lets you insert a dynamic note item, which is a text code that will resolve to a numeric value about the entire chart or about a particular state point on the chart. Click the Elevation button to insert a dynamic note item that resolves to the elevation of the chart. You can see that pound EL pound has been added to the text. Click elsewhere on the chart to get out of editing mode for the note. Now let's add a couple of points and a process to the chart. Click Add Point or Process. The Define State Point or Process dialog lets you create state points and psychrometric processes using those state points. We will create a couple of points and then create a cooling process between them. Our first point is the room condition of 75 degrees dry bulb, 50% relative humidity. Enter room condition for the name. Click Create State Point. Click the new point to reposition the point name. Click lower right to position the point name below and to the right of the point. For this state point, enter 55 dry bulb and 90% relative humidity and name the point leaving coil. This will be the point of the air as it leaves the air conditioner's cooling coil. Reposition the name to the left of the point if you prefer. Notice that there are several types of processes available for us to add, each with several options. We will create a cooling process. Click the Cool tab. This will be a cooling process that goes from the room condition to the leaving coil condition, so leave the top option selected. Select Room Condition for Point 1 and Leaving Coil for Point 2. Enter 900 CFM of air for the cooling process. Click Create Cool Process. Close this window. Now let's add points and processes a different way by using the Air Handler Model window. But first, let's clear the chart of its points and processes by clicking Chart, Clear. Click Air Handler Model. The Air Handler Model window lets you create multiple points and processes for a cooling air conditioning system. Points and processes are created for both supply and return sides of the coil. Some typical indoor and outdoor conditions are already filled in, so we can leave these inputs alone for now. Our system has a sensible load of 20,000 BTUH and a latent load of 3,000 BTUH and ventilation air of 100 CFM. We will leave these optional supply side and return side loads at zero for now. Click Create Model. Close this window so we can see our model. 
let's add a note to the OC outdoor condition point. Click add note to point. The new note will be linked to the point and can show data about the point. We are now in editing mode for the note. Let's enter a description of outdoor condition and then add a couple of dynamic note items. On the insert dynamic note item floating toolbar, click the DB button which will show the point's dry bulb temperature. And now click the RH button to show the relative humidity of the OC point. We can see that the dynamic note items resolve to the actual values of the OC state point. Let's open the three floating windows that show the results of these various points and processes. State point report, process energy report, and process input output report. The state point report window shows you all the available data about each point, such as dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures. The process energy report window shows you the heating and cooling amounts, the water added, and the flow for each of the processes on the chart. The process input output report window gives detailed information concerning the properties of the air streams involved in the created processes. Click the menu Window, Close Subwindows to close all three report windows. Open the Air Handler Model window again. This time we will import data from a CHVAC project. Click Import to open the Import Air Handler data window. We can import data from either a CHVAC or an RHVAC project. We will import from a CHVAC project. Click the plus sign to the left of Sample CHVAC 8. Select Air Handler 1. Click Copy to Air Handler Model. We can see that the CHVAC Air Handler's information has been copied to the Air Handler Model window's inputs. Click Create Model. Click Close. Now let's look at a print preview of the results. Click the menu File Print Reports. Click Preview. Click Next Page. Click Next Page again. Close the Print Preview window. Close the Print Reports window. Now let's take a look at a print preview of the chart. Click the menu File, Print Chart. Let's print the chart to a PDF file by using a PDF writer. Click Print Current Page. We can see that the current printer is already set to the PDF writer called Microsoft Print to PDF, which was included with Windows. Click Print and the PDF writer will prompt for a file name. Enter a file name for the PDF. Click Save and the PDF will be created. Now we will open the PDF file that we just created. Thanks for watching.